Hi guys and welcome back to another time lapse. This time round we are building another brig and because it's quite a small brig um, I did want to have some guns in it because it's going to need to protect itself uh, and actually with this one I ended up having six guns though that wasn't planned at the beginning it's just how many kind of fit into the main hold part of it. So you can see me making the basic shape here using lots of spruce and then actually having it layered with the different kind of colours with oak and then with uh, jungle and then just kind of around to the cabin because of course it is big enough to have a proper cabin uh, I wanted to make a little bit of detail around that using the acacia uh, to kind of contrast against that but also having some birch at the back as well uh, just to give a little bit of that kind of more contrast compared to like the oak for example so coming on to the masts now, because it is going to be a brig, I already knew at that point I was going to do three masts. So it's kind of quite easy to find where they're going to fit. Uh, we're going to have two of the square rigs on both the front and the main mast. And at the back we are going to have a spanker and a smaller kind of uh, mast at the top of that one. So you can see me putting in the little bits of detail, connecting these up, building in the bowsprit as well. And then, of course, once we've got that, I can then go in and start doing lots more of the details. So in this case, putting in some cannons. So I actually used anvils for these initially. I played around with the position a little bit. Um, we could have actually added in a couple more of them, so I could have made it maybe probably 10 guns. But um, I thought, you know what, it's going to be a lightly armoured, smaller brig, uh, rather than being like heavily armoured. Uh, so, you know, it might not have the best cargo in the world, but it is still very important to at least try to ward off those pesky pirates. So you can now see me putting in all of the sails. So just like normal, I've put in using white wool, uh, made the kind of base kind of uh, pattern for it, and then uh, kind of fleshed it out, made it look like the uh, wind is actually going to be pushing those, of course, really important. And then getting onto the spanker as well and getting that in there like that. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this one turned out. I especially like how the back goes up quite a bit, and that really enabled me to do a good kind of cabin space above the water which I quite like. So here is the finished build guys. As always there will be a tutorial coming up on my channel shortly uh, but in the meantime I have already got the schematic up on my digital store if you guys want to go check it out feel free to do so. But thank you very much for watching hopefully you've enjoyed if you have comment like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.